How to get a 3 out of Crossbite. Welcome to my Power Webinars in Lean Orthodontics. My name is Dr. Martin Bexman. Today we are going to talk about wire bending again. And it's a bend for the 3 that's in Crossbite and needs to be brought beyond the occlusion to get into the right space. So what you need for that today again is 018 stainless steel wire and a loop bending plier. <laughs> What you will see later on is a previously impacted, palatally impacted canine in the upper jaw, which is now erupted and in crossbite. And here we're going to do some wire bending for it to bring it across the lower teeth to go over the occlusal plane. And what we do here is with a loop bending plier and an 018 stainless steel is that we start with some kind of a T loop. So we bend one side of a T-loop first. And as you learned in previous videos as well, the plier holds and the hand bends the wire. Now we change direction because we don't want to only do some up and down bending. We want an in and out bend as well at the same time. So we want to intrude it and bring it over the crossbite to the buckle at the same time. So it's quite a few things that we do at the same time with this loop. So as you can see here, we start with some T-loop um, type of bend. And now we have a helix, a double helix, that will bring the tooth to the outside. Now we need some extra space to attach the canine to the wire. That's what the middle part is for. That's where the wire goes in the slot of the bracket. But you will see later on. So we had another double helix here and go to the other side again um, to complete the T-loop on the other side as well. So it's quite a complicated bend. If you have time to do that. If you want to do that, maybe you know my concept of standard and hero cases. This obviously is a hero case, but that's a salt uh, in the soup, how we say in Germany, that's what brings some spice to the ordinary um, routine work that you do all the time when you have some special wire bending to do. And now you can see how it looks. It's like a mega T-loop on both sides of it, two helices as well, and now you can imagine already what it's for. Now we have to bring it in the patient's mouth as well. See the springy part of it, um, very nice one. Obviously it occupies a little bit of space in the mouth of the patient, um, but that should be fine. So attach it, the mesial and the distal part, like a piggyback wire with some extra elastics. Now the middle part of this spring goes in the slot of the canine and you can see now it will intrude the canine and will bring it to the outside to the buckle side at the same time. Don't forget the bite blocks on the molars to allow that kind of movement to be on the safe side. And as you can see, after about six weeks time, it has come forward nicely to the outside and crossed already the occlusal plane. <laughs> 